Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe, and this is another test for Work Ascent Resources Soviet Republic. Today we're going to look at the thing that's flashing orange and red and yellow in front of us, the heating pipe. Someone on the Discord, which you can join anytime you want, it's free, mentioned that it's better to bury a pipe versus leaving it in the air, and that's what we're going to test today. So let's give you the setup real quick. This is a very basic city. We have 4,300 people, mostly everything is full, but that is fine. We have all the amenities that we need. We're auto purchasing all the things, so that shouldn't affect anything. We don't have a university, so we don't have educated people for that long. So this is not a long-term setup. But what's important is my heat exchanger has about 100% drain, which is exactly what I wanted because I didn't want any extra drain in there to influence this test. And um, everything else is pretty much maxed out at 100%. So if you care, uh, one heat exchanger needs ha has a coverage of items the, the same that two substations do. But that's just besides the point. It's not important here. Also, the substation has a maximum consumption of 2.5 megawatts, if you didn't know that. But the biggest player you can buy is 2.35. So that's not the same. And it shows you this, this consumption, right? Okay. Um, anyways, that's a different problem. Uh, this is all set up and this pipe is the thing that we really care about we will replace let's get first numbers for the pipe if it's above ground and we can actually look at a couple right now uh, which we will care about later on first you should know that 90 degrees is the norm let's see if we can get a better angle there you go 90 degrees is the max uh, temperature that it comes out from the heating plant with you can see that here there's a 90 on there and that's the temperature of this um, heating tank but if you use the overlays, you can actually see an exact number. Then there is a heating tank in the heat exchanger too, and has this number. And the higher this is, the better. Here it's 73.3. We are uh, in November, so it's not hot anymore, but it's five degrees outside. But we're still having a loss from 90 to 73 of almost 27 degrees. Okay, 27 degrees on this pipe. The pipe length is one kilometer, so that matters. But it's pretty normal because if you go too much closer than that, you will have pollution issues from the heating plant, so you don't want that. Cool. So that's our setup. Um, what we're going to judge it by is by the heating tank that makes it here to the heat exchanger, but also by the temperature internally to the buildings. Anything above 20 degrees is good. Everyone is happy. If it's below 20 degrees, they will say temperature and building is too low, and their health and happiness may go down. Cool. Let's get started. We're going to go to the cold days of the winter. Okay, here we are. I will tell you that the temperature is somewhat random. It's not always the same temperature on the same day, but negative 18 is the lowest I've seen so far across all the tests that I've done. So, uh, what are our temperatures? Let's start with the heating water. This is pretty much the same as it was um, during before snow, right? Um, 72. It's just not high. We had about 27 degrees difference earlier, and now it's still about 27 degrees. It's a little more. It's almost a degree more, but uh, there you are. That's the difference. Now, the heating tanks over here are effectively the same. They're just related to this guy. So let's see what the interior temperature is, right? Interior temperature here, 12.6 degrees. I'm picking this one just as a random one. As you can see, the further you are away, the bigger the difference is. So... Uh, keep that in mind too. The one that's close here is 14, 14 degrees. The one that's far away is 11.2 degrees. So um, the distance also matters to the substation or to the heat exchanger if you care. But 12.6 degrees is pretty cold because now people are saying temperature in building is too low. But they're saying that everywhere. Um, they should say that here too. I don't know why the pool doesn't say that. But <laughs> temperature in building is too low. So yeah, pretty low. And this is when you run the pipe above ground. The one thing that I want you to remember from this is that this temperature is pretty much the same now as it was previous in, uh, in autumn. So for these, we're just running the same pipe, the same length, 981 meters, current height zero. It's just right below ground. There's nothing, no Q, no E, no nothing hit on that. So uh, that's our setup. And here we are. So everything's underground. Um, let's see what we see. First, heat water tank. It's 81 degrees in here. We're only losing nine. Sorry, for earlier I said 27 degrees. It's 17, not 27. But we're only losing nine degrees from the heating plant over there with 90 to here with 81. Cool. That is the same in the spring, summer, all, all the time. Maybe summer is a little warmer. But overall, this is the temperature that we get here if we're underground. So that's already a pretty clear sign that we're doing better, right? Yes. Yes, it is. 
Um, over here, the interior temperature is 20.4 degrees at negative 18 degrees Celsius. That is important because these will not be complaining. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's on a different day. I told you it's a little random, but that's where we are. Now, there are some buildings out here that are really far away from the heat exchanger. And do you tell me what the actual distance is? 229 meters. I don't know what the real measurement there is. You can figure that out if you really want to, but I don't. But the further you are away, the colder your place gets. That I think makes perfect sense. And as you can see, this needle is pretty close to 90, which is exactly what we just read here when we looked at the heat water uh, tank. That's 81 degrees. So what does this mean? Bury your pipes 100% if you have the money and the extra time, because it does take longer as a little more expensive to build these, but it's totally worth it because in the long run, one, it's prettier for most people, and two, the insulation makes up for everything, every argument that you want to throw in there, 100%. Now, I've done this test, tried to put the heating pipes higher up, so more in the air and uh, lower in the ground, uh, three and six meters. All of them didn't show me significant differences there was a small difference when I went to six meters instead of zero meters, but it said that the six meters was doing worse than the zero meter. Just a slight bit. So instead of 20.6 degrees that we had here, it was about 19.8 degrees, but there was a difference. There was a difference and it wasn't as good, or 20.4 degrees. Now, I don't know if I trust that, uh, that result because overall it seemed like underground is good, above ground is bad. And that's really the thing, but it doesn't feel like changing the underground um, height makes a difference additionally to that. So there you go. You should bury your pipes 100%. I'm Bebo Joe, and I hope you learned something, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.